Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, I want to thank you for joining me. Um, uh, this today is Sunday, so we're looking at Psalm 102 because we do the Psalms every Sunday. If you've noticed, if you listen every day, you've noticed for the past two days, there has been no episodes. Um, and it's there, I try and do this every day. And there's been a few times where I had to take a hiatus. Uh, one was uh, when a hurricane happened two years ago, r roughly about two years ago. That was like a month hiatus uh, because we lost power and then my work was so busy at that point um, that I was gone many, many uh, hours of the day. And then um, there's been uh, times when I was overseas and it was impossible uh, for me to uh, do the episode and then uh, some other trips too. Uh, and it, this past week, um, if you're familiar with uh, Sarasota, uh, we had a lot of rain that came down all at once and it has been dry, dry, dry for months. And then a lot of rain just got dumped down all at once. And um, that's good for the plants and everything, And um, but some buildings are not designed as well. And when the rain comes down all at once like that, uh, some buildings are prone to flood. And that's what happened uh, this week. And so uh, my work was very busy at that point. And because, I, I don't know if you know this, but that's uh, the business I am in is uh, carpet cleaning and flood restoration and mold remediation. So anyway, that's, that's why I was on a two day break here because I would come home so late at night um, after doing the regular cleaning and then doing all these floods and everything. So. Uh, we should be getting back into the flow of things here, though. This is Sunday, uh, so sorry for that long introduction. Uh, but I wanted to explain why, why we didn't have any episodes for two days. Today we're looking at Psalm 102. And I've entitled this, Who Are You Going to Call? Okay, if you remember, if you were around in the 1980s, um, you heard that song, Who Are You Going to Call? And then you would hear the song, the, everyone say, Ghostbusters! And... Um, well, I don't want you calling Ghostbusters uh, because, well, that's a fictitious uh, movie. Uh, but I want you to call on God, okay? And that's what this psalm is about. It's a, it's a lament of someone who's in trouble. David is most likely the author, although it doesn't say here uh, who the author is. But he's coming. To, he's he's lamenting, but he's he's crying out to God. Okay. My point in all of this is. You can, it's okay to lament, but then cry out to God, okay, and, and ask God for help. Um, this and this would have been a, a great example. This week, um, you know, I was doing the long hours and, you know, uh, was dealing with difficult situations with flooded buildings and so forth. And so I spent time in prayer, um, and those, I, you know, I kind of dedicated to the, day, the days to the Lord. Um, and so I was trying my best to honor God with these situations and give these situations to God. And so when when trouble happens, we should be turning to God. A lot of times we turn to everything else but God, um, but we should be turning to God. Uh, also, this psalm would be um, a picture of, and J. Vernon McGee actually points this out, a, a picture of uh, Jesus uh, praying in Gethsemane. Okay, he knows um, he's about ready to be crucified and so uh, that would be a, a serious lament there and he's he's crying out to the Lord okay and it's a picture of the Trinity too because uh, he's not talking to himself but he's talking to one of the three people uh, talking to the God the Father okay so let me read here this is Psalm 102 and it says in the introduction a prayer of an afflicted person who has grown weak and pours out a lament before the Lord. Okay, I, I can identify that. There was, a, you know, I'd come home, you know, uh, the one night I came home at midnight um, and then had to be, you know, back, uh, starting the day back up at six o'clock in the morning again. So it was uh, well, like that. You felt weak, like, ah, uh, is this day going to end? You know, and then the next day it's, it's just uh, almost duplicate of it. Um, and so, it, but it was a, a lament before the Lord, and he's crying out to the Lord. Okay. First one, it says, Hear my prayer, Lord. Let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me when I am in distress. Turn your ear to me, and when I call, answer me quickly. 
For my days vanish like smoke, my bones burn like glowing embers, my heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. Okay, that, that's a good, I mean, I, you know, I can afford to eat, uh, forget to eat my food because I could afford to lose some weight. Uh, but sometimes we get so busy, we're like, ah, I forgot to eat, you know, because we're, we're so busy. That was kind of like that this week. In my distress, I groan aloud, and I'm reduced to skin and bones. I am like a desert owl, like an owl among the ruins. I lie awake, and I have become like a bird alone on a roof. All day long, my enemies taunt me. Those who uh, rail against me use my name as a curse. Can you imagine using, uh, you have enemies, and they use your name as, as a curse word. Great. For I eat ashes as my food, and mingle my drink with tears. Not a healthy diet right there. Because of your great wrath, for you have taken me up, up and thrown me uh, aside. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, sit enthroned forever. Your, your renown endures through all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her. The appointed time has come, for her stones are dear to your servants. Her very dust moves them to pity. The nations will fear the name of the Lord. All the kings of the earth will revere your glory. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. He will respond to the prayer of the destitute. He will not despise their plea. Let this be written for the future generation, that a people not yet created may praise the Lord. Okay? Wow, that's that's me. Okay, he, he was writing this. Uh, that hopefully one day I would be praising the Lord. Verse 19, The Lord looked down from his sanctuary on high. From heaven he viewed the earth. To hear the groans of the prisoners and release those condemned to death. So the name of the Lord will be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the people and the kingdoms assemble to worship the Lord. In the course of my life he broke my strength. He cut my short days. So I said, Do not take me away, my God. In the midst of my days, your years go on through all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are a work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will, will wear out like a garment. Like clothing you will change them, and they will be discarded. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. The descend their descendants will be established before you. Okay? What a great psalm, you know. He's cry, and it's a, it's a it's something. God doesn't forbid us to cry out to Him, uh, and He actually encourages it here. To cry out to Him um, is encouraged, uh, but we need to be doing it to Him, and and then recognizing that uh, He can take care of us. Okay, so there's going to come different difficult times, just like I had this week, uh, a difficult a week, but it's important for you to know um, and, and to understand that when those difficulties happen we should be turning to the lord okay not relying on other things but the first thing we should do is turn to the lord oftentimes we're guilty of doing everything else and then we turn to the lord uh, but start with start with dedicating your day to the lord and then as the day goes on good things happen praise god for that bad things may happen and ask God for your help uh, with those things. Okay? Thanks for watching. I am a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you. And let me pray real quick. Lord God, thanks for this time. And I pray that we would be people that would honor you and, um, and look to you whenever we need help. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm a regular dude, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Lord's blessing to you.